it's Chris here. Last time we've implemented a full admin panel using admin.js, express, and micro ORM. Now it's high time to deploy it and share it with the world. For that, we will use two services. One is Elephant SQL, cloud hosting for our database, and another is admin.js cloud. It's a tailor-made hosting for admin.js applications. Okay, so not to waste time, I have already created the uh, database on Elephant SQL. As you can see right here, the only thing you'll have to do, uh, which I'm not going to do in this video, is copy the URL, the connection URL, and paste it to your .n file. Uh, it's right here. I have already done that. Great. Now, uh, let's create the account on uh, Cloud Admin. So to create the account, go to adminjs.co, uh, type the Cloud Dashboard in top right, and create the uh, create a new account and we're gonna do admin js plus demo at adminjs.co and the password will be yep uh, i'm not a robot oh bikes let's move on with the captcha great and let's register so uh after the registration of the account i will be redirected to the admin panel as you can see right here uh our application is deploying now it's deploying with the default app in the meantime we can go on and do a couple of steps required for building and deploying the application so first of all we'll have to generate the api key and a secret We'll do it by downloading the file with the API key and a secret here. Okay. Um, next. Yeah. Uh, we're going to need the API key and a secret in a minute. And let's move on to the code. So first things first, what we need to do, we need to uh, use a TSC to transpile our TypeScript code into JavaScript. Uh, you can see I've already done that. I will do it again just to make sure that, uh, just to be sure that my code is up to date, that my JavaScript code is up to date. Okay, so the TSC is here and it's running. And then we'll need to go and install the admin.js CLI cloud. Uh, we'll install it globally because we can use it in the other, uh, other applications as well. Okay. It is installed in our code. Now, uh, the next thing is to prepare the uh, prepare the configuration file for the admin.js cloud. I will simply recommend using the file from here. Uh, as you can see in my example, uh, that should be where it is admin.js cloud JSON. It's right here. So I'm saying that you will uh, the admin.js cloud should pull app.js user entity js tsconfig.env package json and tr unlock tsconfig should not be required I did it anyway okay let's move on here uh, so when we do have this we have the step three uh, we can move on with the deployment so uh, let's use adminjs cloud deploy uh, we have the api, API key put in here uh, right now the only thing we'll have to use is our app secret and to know the app secret let's go to admin.js example file and the app secrets right here okay let's use the app secret so what the deployment cli is doing and basically builds our code into the into the package and sends it to the uh sends it directly to the to the admin.js cloud and everything and the only thing we'll have to do now is just wait okay so as you can see right here the build have already started so we do have a first build of our application uh and the application is still in deployment so what we can do we can view the logs from the build okay let's wait a while and i'll come back after the while and let you know what will happen and show you what happened Okay, fast forward two minutes and we're already done. Uh, let's take a look at our builds. So it says that build is succeeded. We can check the logs. And in the logs, you can see that the build 
uh, state is succeed. Great. Let's go on to the to the application. As you can see, the app is running currently. Uh, we can check log of the application, and it says that admin JS started on localhost eighty eighty slash admin. So uh, if you take a look here, we do have the application URL. Uh, I do already. I did already open it. So if you take a look here, we do have admin.js example that up the admin.js cloud admin slash login. That's our application. Uh, we can go and type in our type in our our user credentials from the previous video, um, and that should be should allow us to go into the dashboard. And okay. Uh, let's do it one more time. Great. We do have a dashboard right here and there's a working ap admin application deployed to the cloud so you can share the link with your peers and uh, take a look how it works. I will leave the link right here so you can take a look. Uh, you can check. Uh, yeah, you can check the, you can check how it works and log in. I will leave it for a couple of hours and see you then. Have a nice day.